does not uh, have the same relationship with both sons. There is one son who, she just bubbles over with joy at the mere thought of him. Wesley, my character, was closer to his mother. She doted on him. Everything that, that he was <laughs> doing, you know, she approved of, she loved. He, he was the good son. He's mommy's boy. Always respectful. Always conscious of his mother's needs. And always taking very good care of the business that his father worked so hard to build. I'll be burning the midnight oil on this one, John, so I'll be up in a second. There's an inner nobility about him that uh, Wilhelmina recognizes and enjoys and is extremely proud of. Wesley's eyes are wide open to what his mom thinks, what the world thinks, what opinions are, what, what looks right. And Wesley's mother and father wanted him to marry Natalie all of their lives, so they did what their parents expected them to do. I cannot believe the two of you are finally getting married. <laughs> you have any idea how much your mother and I have wanted this for the two of you? Yeah, I think I do. Because it signals continuation. You know, they're going to be children, grandchildren that I can help shape and mold. Why can't you be more like your brother? And the other son, she just can't, she doesn't get him at all. And here's the good brother. Uh, I don't think she likes him very much. Did you suck all the life out of her mom like you do everybody else? In her being, I think there's love there. I mean, I look at him sometimes and think, oof, mine, oof, but mine. Go to hell. Why is he always trying to undo every single thing? What is this seed of self-destruction and unworthiness? What is it? It didn't come from me. And I don't think it came from your father either. And that's frustrating when you love somebody and you see them going the wrong way. Tyler paints and creates these types of families, but keeps them relatable because they're flawed, they're real. Christy, I'm sorry, baby. Be happy. I love you, Mom.